Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac. Well, if you've tuned in for a vacuum cleaner video, I'm sorry to disappoint because today I'll be looking at this Miele dishwasher. If you want to see a new review or unboxing of a vacuum cleaner, tune in at 5 p.m. on Fridays. But sometimes I like to put on some different bits and pieces on my channel and for those of you that like dishwashers, this might be the video for you. This particular Miele dishwasher has turbothermic drying, a multitude of programs from your pots and pans to your delicate glassware, and plenty of space inside to take all your dirty crockery. Well, as most of you will have probably guessed by now, this is not a real Miele dishwasher. I can't afford a real Miele dishwasher. Although when my current Bosch slimline dishwasher goes kaput, which hopefully won't be for quite some time, I may consider a full-size Miele. But until then, I thought I would try out this much smaller toy version. If you check back on my channel, I've done the Miele washing machine. So I thought it's high time I showed you how this Miele dishwasher performs. This is by a German company called Theo Klein. The actual toy is made in China. And I don't know much about this. I've had this quite a while. And this will be the first time I've assembled it, well, put the batteries in, and uh, turned it on. I do believe it has a washing action, which you can see through the clear window. And I believe it should have some lights and possibly some bleeping noises. But until I put the batteries in, I won't know how this works. Let's just see what it says on the box. Oh, it does come with some accessories, plate, cup and spoons. It has a removable cutlery basket and cutlery tray and water filling via flap on top so you can put water in this toy dishwasher just like you could with a toy Miele washing machine. It's got illumination I'm not sure if that's inside the cabinet, it looks like it from this picture um, maximum, minimum maximum water level fill indicator and a start button so that's the box. Let's get it out of the box and put the batteries inside. Here's the Miele dishwasher by Theo Klein out of its packaging. I'll just show you around the toy. It's the same scale as the washing machine, so if you have the washing machine, this will sit side by side and they will look perfectly matched. At the back, we've got the battery compartment. You need a screwdriver to gain access to that and you need to put three C-sized batteries into there to make this toy work. And at the back here, there's a little plug. You remove that plug to tip the water out after the toy has been played with. At the top, this is where we actually fill the toy dishwasher. And I believe it takes 0 0.15 mils of water. And to decide how much water you need to put in, there's a little indicator at the bottom here, a little minimum and maximum line. So it's best to have that door open when you're filling just to make sure you don't fill it above the maximum level, which is a bit hard to see. There we go, max and min. So just make sure it's above the minimum, or not below the minimum, and not above the maximum fill line. So here we have the machine. There's a little button here to open the door. And we have a little cutlery rack at the top. You get this spoon included. And there's the lower basket here. And again, you get this plate and this little cup. And at the bottom, there's a little filter, sort of thing you'd find in a real dishwasher. I'm not sure where it's, ah, there's a water jet at the top. I'll just show you that actually. Can you just see at the back, there's a water jet that sprays out the water and it looks like there's a little light in the top to illuminate the cabinet when it's going. And of course this is just the drain at the bottom here because it must recirculate the water. Once you put it in the water reservoir and turn on, it will recirculate the water just like a real dishwasher would. So that's that, so pop those back in. That's your lower basket. Now these, for scale, if say you've got a 12 inch fashion doll like a Barbie, 
these would be far, far too big. They're much, much too large. They would be okay for a larger doll, but not the sort of 12 inch type Barbie type dolls. They're too big. It's a little bit larger. It's too large to have with a Barbie. It's, uh, I, would, I should have got a Barbie to tell you to try it. But anyway, it's um, too big. The scale is too big. But anyway, it's still a fun little thing. So that goes in there. Now there is a clear window. So we can see, obviously, it'd be a bit boring for, being, for a toy if we were to turn it on and would hear the water swooshing around, but we couldn't see anything. Obviously in a real dishwasher, normally you don't get the fun of seeing all the water swishing around, but you do in this one. Let's try and remove it. And I had a bit of trouble earlier getting this separated. Don't want to force anything. The instructions are a little bit vague on this. I think I'll just pull it. There we go. It's just a little bit stiff. So there we can see with the outer door open, we'll be able to see, hopefully, the water swishing around inside. I've inserted three C-size batteries into the back of this Miele toy dishwasher and I'm showing you the control panel in a little bit more detail. And for those of you familiar with a real Miele dishwasher, you'll see just how detailed this little toy is all the way down to the vent to allow the steam to escape during the drying process. So we have various buttons. This is the on off button and when we press that in this little light illuminates and then here we have four further function buttons. If you press the start button the green light will illuminate and it runs through each program individually about 15 seconds each but we can select each of these functions on their own so you can select the fill water inlet, the wash and the water drain function separately. There's also this little dial here to select the main program that doesn't actually do anything it just adds a little bit of extra play value. Okay we're almost ready for the demonstration I've filled the dishwasher with water from the top here and if we look down below we can just about see inside here that it's got water in it it's a bit hard to pick up on camera but I have made sure it's filled just to the maximum fill line. This will be the first time that I'm going to use this toy Miele dishwasher so hopefully it will work. One thing we've got to make sure is that the door is shut tight not just like that you need to press it again until it really clicks and that button will pop up so hopefully we're not going to have any leakage. So if we press the on button you can just about see that the light has illuminated in the top so I'm just going to go straight ahead and press the start button and hopefully we'll see some water swirling about inside. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm quite disappointed with that. I'm not even sure if you could pick up the water flowing onto those dishes. I was hoping for some sort of a swirling action. I mean, even the door, the door is still bone dry. I was rather hoping we'd get some swishing water showing, but no, we didn't. We just got a rather pathetic trickle of water. <laughs> the spoon is bone dry. Well I suppose it's gone through the whole cycle, it did do the drying fa phase so you know, <laughs> but it didn't get wet in the first place I'm pretty sure. So I'll put that to one side. We'll take out the tray. I see there's a little bit of water trickled onto that one. I've made a little bit of a puddle. Oops! Made a bit of a puddle on my table but that's really not very good at all. What I'm going to do, we'll see if we can have a close-up of the water jet and just see it uh, trickling out what little water is going to trickle out anyway. Rather disappointing. But Anyway let's have a look if we can see 
the force of the water that comes out of that jet at the back. Well, I think you'll agree that that was pretty pathetic. There's no chance of getting anything clean in this toy Miele dishwasher by Theo Klein. Although, to be fair, the instructions do say, do not put dirty crockery into this. It's not designed to clean, it's just designed to swirl a bit of water about. But I was rather hoping that we would actually see some water swirling on the door. We eventually did get some droplets of water on the clear part of this door, but only when I took out the baskets. So if you've a child that is fascinated with appliances and your dishwasher, and you thought you might get them this to stop them playing with the real thing, well, they might still like it, but they're not going to really get a dramatic display of water swirling about. I was hoping we'd get something like that rather than the pathetic trickle that we got from this little toy. But saying that, it's a nice detailed model and it's a nice little thing to have if you like that sort of thing, just for show perhaps. But as far as being anything that looks very dramatic, I don't think most children would be happy with that. They are quite expensive to buy as well. I'm not really sure where you get them from. Try Amazon. I got this cheap a while ago. It was less than half price. I wouldn't pay. I've seen this up to £60, which is not worth it. But anyway, as far as detailing goes, it is a very nice little scale model. As far as play value for a child, I think it's got limited value. But anyway, there it is. If you want to check my Miele washing machine demonstration, my toy washing machine by Theo Klein, there is a link below this video. Now, at least the washing machine did look a little bit more entertaining. You could actually see the water swirling round the drum. But this one, no, it's a thumbs down, I'm afraid, unless you have to have one to go with your toy washing machine. I believe Miele do, well, Theo Klein, do a Miele microwave and a Miele cooker that matches this. I think the cooker is in a silver finish. I haven't got the cooker. I might get the cooker at some point, but uh, so far I've just got the washing machine and the dishwasher. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. You'll see plenty more videos on my channel, but mainly vacuum cleaners and other floor care appliances. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.